Hi there, Phil Simborg with a position that uh, I saw a very fine player miss and when I watched him I thought maybe he got the right play. I started to question myself what the right play was. Uh, it's uh, a match to nine, score is zero, zero, nine away, nine away, red to play six one. What's your play? Okay, uh, the right play is to simply play safe here. You don't want to get hit. Uh, you don't want to get put back in the race. Racing is a reasonable game plan for you here. You're not likely to prime a single checker. You really don't have a hitting play. So between racing, priming, and hitting, your game plan is uh, pretty much to try and win a race, uh, even though the race is very, very close and he even has a slight edge or stay back and get a shot. It could be a hitting game if you get a shot. But to slot or to come out to his bar is just too fancy. You just simply bring checkers down, hope he doesn't get out, and hope you can make points and attack him later, or maybe escape this checker, get a shot. Very simple. Make the simple play. Sometimes the simple play is the right answer. One of the reasons I find this interesting, and I wanted to show this to you, is to show you the thinking process when you see a play like this and you're not quite sure or you get it wrong you can learn a lot more about the position by changing the position for example I often take any play that I can't see and move checkers around or change the score even change the role let's move blue back would that change your play any? not a bit plays the same for the exactly the same reason would it change your play if he were here and had fewer shots if you slotted your five point again it's not worth it you're not even if you get away with it you've made a blocking point that isn't much of a block when he's here so really it's the same play either way would you make the same play here how would you play a six one now well now you've got a very constructive one to play and that's by hitting it would change the whole concept of the game that you're playing here and hitting is right by a lot let's go back to the original position I also wondered would I make a different play if I was on gammon go? If it didn't matter if I lost any gammons. Let's say the score was um, one away, two away Crawford and I'm losing. Uh, would I slot now or would I come out to the bar? And the answer is no. It's still right to make the same play. Just basic, good, solid checker play. And again, uh, looking at all the different plays uh, really makes sense. Now, oh, there's another thing I looked at what if this blot were not here and what if this checker were here now I've got more of an incentive to come out to here because now he can only hit me with 24 numbers instead of 28 numbers which is what he has if he has this checker uh, on uh, here would it make sense to come out now yeah it does because there's that many fewer shots it's a little bit better to come out about five percent actually that's pretty that's actually not a little bit that's a pretty pretty big number so there's a concept instead of stacking and bringing more checkers down take advantage right now and get out and uh, some of the numbers that hit you the sixes and the ones in particular are not bad numbers for him the ones are pretty good numbers for him here uh, you've duplicated his point making numbers and the sixes are pretty good for him here to race so you uh, you've duplicated some of his good numbers by going out that's a good way to really examine a position try and first figure out why the right play is right and then change it up change the role change the position of the checkers and see when the play changes and you'll have a much better understanding of what the original play is and why thanks for watching and uh, see you next time bye bye